it works because I've had 70,000 views on my last video. And now for the icy box enclosure. Actually, it's just like a little box for the um, for the SSD hard drive, and you have USB C in one end, or at least in my case I have. And then I have this kind of odd socket at the other end. Got to have this cord with it that comes with the icy box enclosure. Dismantle the icy box. You got to find some screwdriver. You have that screwdriver lying around, nerd. And I say nerd because my brother, he said when I made my previous video on this topic, my brother said, nobody's gonna watch it. And now it's like my most viewed video with 70,000 views plus. So I guess uh, a lot of you are nerds out there in my brother's opinion, but he's an old geezer, even more old than I am. Put this one into here. It's super easy. There are some slides doing exactly this. So that's basically it. <laughs> Connect it to the computer, of course. The fastest port of your computer. That is this one. In my particular case, it's the lightning one. And now, as you can see here, it's empty. That's just superb. We're in the Macrium Reflect. And you've chosen this one. And then you choose clone this disk. Oh, there I have my new disk to clone to unfortunately you can't really tell but it is as it is the same size i'm cloning to just for this demonstration purpose but it will work and of course the purpose on your for your part would be to clone to a bigger hard disk but i'll just show you that it will work you can open the more detailed partition properties dialog by selecting a partition on the destination then clicking layout you can precisely set the partition size by using the partition size entry box or resize the partition automatically by clicking maximum size or minimum size. Let's say we remove the recovery partition so that you can see that it actually works. There. Now we know on our clone we will not have a recovery partition. That is of course not advised. <laughs> but uh, let's just do that so we can see the difference. Cheers, mate. And when the operation has succeeded, then of course you just unscrew it and put it into your computer that's the ballsy maneuver of course so first thing you gotta do is of course you gotta pry the cabinet open and i bought like these from the music store actually i'm an old musician so i haven't bought them but i've just had them lying around and then you pry around along the edges they cost around a dollar each or you can perhaps get like four or five for i don't know five dollars and i've already done this but the thing is you gotta put the screws in the right order so you gotta remember to exactly what hole they're coming from and that's just important because you know you never know if they could be of different lengths so now i've pried it open the first thing you want to do i've already done that if you're going to be completely cool with this you of course you've got to wear like the magnetic armband i'm not going to do that but that's up to your own safety concerns if you live in a, like a very static environment of course you would like to apply that uh, magnetic uh, armband around right but i've disabled the battery and you can always tell like there's this little cord coming out of the battery 
pry that away from the socket so it's done. And if you don't have all these kind of screws, uh, screwdrivers lying around, you can buy them typically very cheap also at your local store, this kind of stuff. Or wait till you get old and then you have all these kind of useless screwdrivers lying around. Again, use the magnetic anti-band. That's a good thing. You can actually use the SD enclosure as a backup. When you put your old hard disk onto here, you could erase it if you're sure that the operation worked. And then you have a backup external hard drive that you can use from the SSD IC box. And now for the moment of truth, I've just put in my new hard disk and I've started it up. The system time is invalid. Yeah, that's nothing. Enter. You may get the exact same uh, BIOS announcement as because you've of course had the power cable uh, unplugged. So let's see if it boots up as if it thinks it's the ordinary computer thingy. So let's see if it actually accepts it as being its own and it pretty much looks like it. Let's just see. Yeah, keeping our fingers crossed. And it's even with my desktop background. That's Arsri, a lake in Denmark. The biggest lake in Denmark, actually. So only about, I would say, three meters deep at the deepest. So it's kind of, actually, it's an inlet fjord, an old inlet fjord. But come and visit it if you want to have a mosquito bite or two. So let's just run Macrium Reflect right away to see how it looks. And let's just run OBS Studio also. Okay, so what does it say? Okay, so now I'm with you on the OBS screen recording also. And what you want to look at for here now is that the fourth partition, that was the recovery partition before, it's now called none. So you can see it's actually the new disk and all the other things looks uh, exactly the same. Let's just check and see, if, for instance, our uh, documents folder, if that looks like what I would have in here. Yeah, it looks very much like that. Success! My name is Brian from Denmark, you're a tech fan. Please remember to leave a like if this operation was also successful for you. See you in the next one.